Overnight, my world has changed. I've become a vampire. I did not choose the thing I've become, but I can choose the lives I now take. Cursed be the choice. Hej, cześć, siemano wam wszystkim ludzie, z tej strony Jack, witam się z wami bardzo serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku Zagrajmy w Vampyr. Witam się z wami tutaj na moście, e, przed, no to kawałek od szpitala, tam dalej się idzie do Lady Ashbury, tutaj. E, witam się z wami tutaj, ponieważ obskoczyłem sobie wszystkich handlarzy. Niestety, e, przy okazji, znalazłem też kilka rzeczy, tak właśnie sobie może kolejnościowo. E, ulepszyłem sobie bronię. Zarówno rewolwer, jak i ten pistolero na piąty poziom oraz e, piłę do doskonałej piły chirurgicznej. Tutaj obie te broni dwuręczne na czwarty level. Te pałę oraz nóż amputacyjny także na czwarty poziom ulepszyłem oraz tutaj ten toporek. Tutaj proszę bardzo wszystko, co mam zebrane jak na razie. Tutaj jest stan mojej serum amunicji, tutaj śmieci. E, co zebrałem poza nagraniem? Otóż zebrałem ten list, tą pozytywkę z listem, co chyba z wami zebrałem, ale na wszelki wypadek wam pokazuję. Tu było, tu było, tu było, dalej, 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 list, kartka, dobra i to już wszystko dalej było. Z ważniejszych rzeczy zebrałem to, nowe praktyki, nowe taktyki, z jakiejś zwłok to wyciągnąłem. Uh, jeszcze... A nie, nie będzie tutaj tego, tego jednego, bo to już oddałem. Zebrałem jeszcze notkę, po, o, notkę z pisaną Brailem, co odkryło mi questa. I się dobrze kojarzę, to gdzieś tutaj na wejściu, tutaj do doków to zebrałem. Nie wiem, nie wiem dokładnie gdzie, ale gdzieś tutaj w dokach. Uh, I to odkryło mi questa uh, związanego... Tutaj, z Masonem Stwenborrowem, co pozwoliło mi go w końcu zlokalizować i po pierwsze wyleczyć, a po drugie dać mu kartkę napisaną Brailem. I jest to kartka, która traktuje o um, <śmiech> leku na ślepotę. Także nie powiem, jest to, jest to dość ciekawe. Chodząc też znalazłem jakąś chustę e, rumuńską i to odblokowało mi questa z Claytonem i Krystyną. Jak widzicie mam już pełne po prostu wskazówki o nich. Dobra, widzę się na nim po cięciu, ponieważ niestety gra mi skraszowała. Dobra, coś nie coś zebrane, fajnie. Okej, okay, tego nie musiałem akurat robić. Lepszy ryc niż nic, panie kolego, lepszy ryc niż nic. Ok, jest ten most, ten. Nie, to nie jest ten most i dobrze, bo już bym się nieźle zahaczył. E, w ogóle chodząc po teraz po miejscówkach, atakują mnie wampiry. Jakieś niecne, nocne ekony, czy coś takiego. To jest dość interesujące. Dobra, mieszkańcy, mieszkańcy. Tutaj. E, właśnie, wracając, co to było? A, quest z chustą. Odblokowałem wszystkie wskazówki. Tutaj dla was. Dobra, widzę, że muszę stąd tutaj przejść. Tutaj. A jeszcze, tu, to nie tu, tutaj, tam z tej pozytywki, z listu, dostałem namiary na tego gościa. Prawie wszystkie wskazówki. Tutaj ostatni, nie wiem, nie wiem, o co, nie wiem o co tutaj w ogóle chodziło, bo powiedziałem to, co myślałem i wskazówka poszła się pieprzyć. Nie wiem dlaczego. No ale dobra, never mind. Poleczyłem też wszystkich, tutaj dodatkowo dałem e, wszystkim, którzy e, już jakby zachorowali. To dałem. Tutaj jeszcze... Dodatkowe wskazówki na temat typa. Tutaj nic. Tutaj ciągle mi ten jeden kolej został. Eee, tutaj w ogóle jeszcze właśnie na tego mam wszystkie wskazówki. I tutaj niewiele więcej. Z questów pobocznych. Tutaj z, po, poinformowałem mój ziomeczka o jego tym całym akolicie. A w sumie co będę gadał, ja wam to po prostu pokażę, bo nagrałem wszystkie te pogadanki. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. 
He is dead, isn't he? Yes, he is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My god, I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick, and my lock is solid. You seem unwell, sir. Do you need my assistance? Actually, I feel worse than usual. Can you give me something? Yes. I can give you a little something that has been proven effective. Thank you, Doctor. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say... She earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanborough? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic. And it actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. How are conditions in Whitechapel at the moment? I always thought it was my role to reveal what really happens in these forgotten parts of London. And you're not sure anymore? Emptied coffins. Cannibalism. Walking dead. I'm trying to report the truth about what's going on, but no one believes it anymore. Tell me, Clayton. Do you really think this young woman stole your wallet? Christina. Yes. I recently met her. A nice girl despite her questionable conduct. How exactly did you meet Christina? During my investigation, I offered my hotel room to her to rest and get away from the street. And what happened? The next morning, my wallet and my watch had disappeared. I suppose that's what you get for being a good Samaritan. If you are going to sleep with a lady of the night, Clayton, I would advise you to be cautious. I can't really be mad at her, though. She's just trying to survive. She doesn't have many options. Was it wise to become so intimate with a woman you were supposed to interview, Clayton? Maybe it was. But I have learned to look for the inner truth and beauty in people. You're right. I know little of your situation. What can you tell me about Christina? She is very sensitive. So nostalgic about her country. I saw her cry once because she'd lost a precious souvenir from her homeland. What was it? A scarf her brother gave her before she came to England. Why are you so concerned? You seem to have something on your mind, Mr. Darby. That we could make peace if I could find it and give it back to her. But I'm afraid she lost the scarf somewhere during her night shift. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Reed? 
Did you steal Clayton Darby's wallet? Tell me the truth, Christina. Of course I stole it. But I never thought he would come back to look for it. Why did you do it? He seems to trust you. For a time, I thought he was different from other men. In the end, he just wanted to sleep with me. Same as the others. Perhaps Clayton is different. Maybe you two should talk. A conversation couldn't hurt. I know what I am and what people call me. I sleep with men for money. If I can accept that, why can't he? No. My future is with the ones I love, not with Clayton Darby. The ones you love? The money you stole is not for you, then. My brother is still in our hometown in Romania. I am the only one who can buy him a ticket to England. Tell me, Christina, is it worth risking your health and your life for your brother's safety? He's the only family I have left. I had to leave Romania without him. I can't be happy until he is near me again. I understand your concern. I spent many months away from my family when I served on the front line in France. Every time I write to him, I fear I won't receive an answer. It kills me to know he is still there. But what about your life, Christina? Are you so worried about your brother's survival that you'll risk your own? You think you know it all because you fought in the war. But my brother is no soldier. I know. We all understand the risks to soldiers. But we don't necessarily recognize the civilian casualties caused by these conflicts. Yes. Wars are decided by rich men who will never take the risk of being shot, raped or maimed. Does your brother know what you do to earn the money to bring him here? Don't be simple, of course not. And he must never know. Everything will be different once he is here with me. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time. Until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London and you could be exposed, or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? <laughs> if you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly, but it is not your concern, Doctor. Goodbye, Miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. I found this scarf. I believe its owner would be happier to receive it from you. Dr. Reed, I may be a humble and dogged reporter, but I recognize a gentleman when I see one. Take this for your trouble. Mr. Darby. I believe your feelings for Christina are deeper than you might admit. I'm the journalist here. I'm the one who makes assertions. But as a journalist, you also have to honor the truth. 
So, what is the truth about you and Christina? I won't use the word romance, but yes, I do care for her. A lot. I hope the feeling is mutual. Ridiculous, is it not? I believe love has neither boundaries nor rules, Mr. Darby, even if society says the opposite. I hope more people will listen to your advice, Doctor, starting with Christina. Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Do you know that Christina is hoping to pay for her brother to travel to England in the near future? I see. No, she didn't tell me that. But that explains many things. Do you believe she will ever see her brother again? As long as the war rages in Europe, I'm afraid her chances of seeing her brother again are slim to none. Więc... No, pewnie już je widzieliście. <coughs> Żeby tego tak nie przeciągać na siłę. I póki co. A jeszcze właśnie tutaj jak szedłem, to pie pierwszy raz źle skręciłem i przypadkiem tutaj pojawiło mi się widmo tego naszego stwórcy. To też wam nagrałem, spokojnie. You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away, whoever you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to it. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! Tired of all these puppet shows. Też, też pewnie już zapewne widzieliście, ale bez, bez zbędnego gadania. Póki co lecimy do Lady Ashbury. Oho. They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did. Nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Co nie? Jakby co on teraz poleciał z tą babą i co, co on chce z nią zrobić? To był właśnie jeden z tych ekonów. O, tu proszę bardzo. Egzekutor i tam kawałek dalej jest ekon krwi. Jeden z wielu, którzy mnie atakowali. Żryjcie ołów póki co. A co tutaj się ugryźć? Regeneracja krwi i HP. W ogóle bawią mnie te wampiry, w sensie jakby... Okej, okay, ja ich postrzeliłem, ale ja ich zabiłem tak permanentnie, czy... On, on za jakiś czas się zregeneruje i potem będzie chciał się ze mną napiew napieprzać dalej. Dobra. Gdzieś tutaj... O! O, czyżby to? Tak, to to! O, fajne. So this is where she lives. What a no, fajna posiadłość. Dobra, niewiele mam czasu, ale myślę, że możemy z nią pogadać. Odcinek taki będzie trochę krótszy i większość z nich to będzie gadanie z postaciami. Czego pewnie nie... Z czego pewnie większość z was nie lubi. Ale na tym jest ta, ta gra też w dużej mierze polega. Dr. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. No, to tak dla was. Leciu lekko może będzie irytujące, ale taki odcinek też się pojawić musi. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. Ty ładny obraz. How strange this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. 
A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? No, raczej warto o tej siostrze wspomnieć. My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying, and I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. Nie to bezlitosne, to takie trochę bardziej pilnowanie, aby doprowadzić sprawę do końca. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. No, ja jej totalnie odbiło, ja po tym jak się zmieniła w wampirzyce. Nie wiem, czy da się jej uratować. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. Kiedy ona napiła się naszej krwi? Ja sobie muszę zobaczyć jeszcze raz po prostu ten moment, bo ja zauważyłem tylko, że on wystał z nią krew, po czym padła na ziemię i koniec. Kiedy ona się napiła jego krwi? Radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. Ciekawe, jaka będzie, jaki będzie finał tej partii. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down. But I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe, and of course to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Dlaczego vampir nie może pić herbaty? Możesz pić krew, a nie możesz pić herbaty? Please, 
call me Elizabeth. Oh? So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Oh, pięknie. Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight the guard of Prewen? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. No, nie wiem czy potężnej, bo jak łażę, łaziłem sobie po dokach, to co najmniej dwa razy spotkałem jego podobnego mu kolesia. Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Aha. Czyli takie trochę pizdy, a nie politycy. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first. But it is only logical, considering the critical situation in London. Why not ask for your help? Since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon. For I am a woman. That suits me well. As long as they leave me alone. Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful, but I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. O ile oczywiście zechcą nam pomóc. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. No, ja wyznaję zasadę, że jeśli ktoś szanuje mnie, to ja szanuję jego, ale... Oj, coś mi się wydaje, że w tym momencie trzeba będzie raczej zapoznać się z inną zasadą. Mianowicie, jeśli wkroczysz między wrony, to kracz. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. No, oni jego kilka praw już znaleźliśmy. Ciekawe, jakie są kolejne. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Zabawne jest to, że jeśli jesteście bardzo bogaci, to bardzo rzadko jesteście niezbyt wpływowi. Bogactwo i wpływy idą ze sobą w parze. Im więcej macie forsy, tym więcej może, na więcej możecie sobie pozwolić. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. <tuh> Szowinista. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. O ile zakład, że na spokojnie sobie z nim poradzę? How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals, but they are all very powerful. 
They are not all immortals. How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. <laughs> Ten dar raczej nie był przypadkiem w cudzysłowie. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. No, o Dawsonie co nieco słyszeliśmy. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. No, jestem na 99,9% że nie. Will the Guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. Nie do końca oni. To ja zabiłem tego kolesia i tamtych frajerów przy okazji. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. Jestem ciekaw, jak udało im się tego dokonać, bo jeśli wampirze jest tak samo jak w Wiedźminie z wampirami, czytaj, im wampir starszy, tym potężniejszy, a póki co wygląda na to, że tak jest, to jakim no, jak udało... No, a nie, to jest ci. Jak udało im się wytrwać? Czy w ogóle pokonać takie wampiry? Jakieś wyjaśnienie? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan. Like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. Ciekaw, czy dalej wiedzą, gdzie mogą mi szukać. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage. If you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you and I. Go to Ascalon, accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. Hmm? Dobry pomysł. How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire. 
but most of those fled England long ago. Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask. A co już pytałeś, chłopie? You? Did you make me? Oh, Jonathan, I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal, but I swear, I had nothing to do with it. You have no idea at all. You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this: I will make inquiries and keep you informed. Na bag na sam koniec gry dowiemy się kto jest jego stwórcą. Jestem tego niemal pewny. Na chwilę ta gra już ma chyba cztery. No, no chyba minimum cztery lata i póki co nie ma kontynuacji, więc wydaje mi się, że Raczej jest znana tożsamość tego vampira. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. Will you not visit Pembroke again? No. I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for the time being. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. Fear not. I'm used to it. When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. Fear not, my dear. I shall only be a heart's beat away. I want to thank you for all your support and your help. My lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself. Ale on się nie zakochał, widać to. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. Eee, jaki serce bije z kruj z martwa? Bo wampiry są chyba martwe, nie? We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Elizabeth. A czy jest... O, o, zajebi się zakochali w sobie. But come back to me soon. Ej, no to jest słodkie akurat, kurde. Taka tematyka w grze, taki powa... Tak, taka poważna tematyka, a tutaj po prostu takie o... O tak wrzucone, że... Romantyczne DT. No powiedzmy, że romantyczne scenki. No kurde. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. Nie, to było piękne. O, patrzcie. Ale Ascalon nie ma więcej tego typu kolesiów, co? No że szty. Powiedz mi, po co się wtrącasz? No, fragment porządnego spustu. Pięknie. Może znajdę tutaj gdzieś handlarza, który będzie miał tego więcej. Niecny ekon. Niu? Ty on se sam tu z nimi poradził? Surprise, motherfucker! Get her over here. Oh, pass to my 24th level. You just made me ugly. You didn't even shoot me. That kind of guy. 
No chyba, że wampira nie masz tutaj. Dor o, Doris Fletcher coś. Nie coś. Dobra, mam iść w drugą stronę, ale ja bym z chęcią... Czekaj, nie, wait, ja tędy... Ja tędy przyszedłem, tak więc... Czekaj, co? Nowy dialog dostępny z Lady Ashbury i z doktorem Swansim. No dobra. Jakby tutaj mamy jedną naszą kryjówkę, nie? Szkoda, że u niej nie możemy się przespać. Kurde... A, bo dobra, ryzyk, ryzyk fizyk, zobaczymy. Może jak wyłączę i wrócę, to się nic za dużo nie zmieni. Okej, okay, póki co ode mnie to tyle. Żegnam się z wami. Jeśli ktoś nie lubi tego typu odcinków, no to bardzo mi przykro. Nie mój problem. To jest akurat ten, ten typ, o, taki typ odcinka, który, w którym jest dużo rozmów. Po prostu z natury fabuły. Okej? Okay? Nie moja wina, że akurat trzeba było tyle przegadać. A ja tam lubię sobie pogadać yy, nawet na poboczne tematy. Bo dowiedzieliśmy się co nie poniekąd dość ciekawych rzeczy. Ej, no Jezus Mario, oni się to będą co na pa... O, ty czekaj, ja się tutaj mogę schować, pięknie. Ty może tutaj... Dobra, przymknąć mordy tam na dole, Chryste. Gdzie widzę, czy tu... Nie, gdzie tam, nigdzie się nie zbliżam. Chłopczyku, z czym do ludzi? Wow! Okej, okay, now I am shocked. Nie są, myślałem, że go zmaszatuję tym, a? Tu proszę. Mam dość potężne te zdolności, a nawet maksymalny poziom nie maszatuję wszystkiego. O, jak te mogę, jak ja takie bogactwa będę w każdej skrzynce zgarniał, no to... Hmm, Dobra. Jest tu w miarę spokój? Oczywiście, że nie. Kto się drze tym razem? Zdeformowany, oślepiony skal. Dobra. Stop. Twój krew prowadzi, to nie wiem, czy to dobrze. Dobra, to było... No, kawałek wcześniej, ale tu jest w miarę spokój. Dobra. Teraz, teraz już tak na poważnie. Już tak finalnie. Żegnam się z wami. Do miłego i widzimy się w kolejnym odcinku, w którym... Zakrę lepiej ten napis. O, pięknie. W którym będziemy dalej lecieli z fabułą, bo chwilowo nie mam zbytnio poboczniaków takich wartych pokazania. Tutaj muszę zwrócić te notki, ale to muszę najpierw znaleźć. Jeszcze trzy. Tutaj gotowe. No tutaj te afisze. I ci grabarze. No a tych grabarzy myślę, że mógł, ale to można w sumie zrobić chyba... Bo to jak dam tropienie, to i są... O Boże. Pół kilometra prawie stąd. Gdzie oni będą? O, gdzieś tutaj. Ej, a to było fajnie, bo tutaj gdzieś powinna być chyba ta kryjówka ma nasza pierwsza. To może to było, udałoby mi się ją zlokalizować. No ale okej, okay, póki co, jak wspomniałem już tak fi finał finałów. To jest koniec, żegnam się z wami do miłego, cześć.